Hello, ladies, gentlemen, everything in between and neither. Today I want to talk about video games, <laughs> as I always want to do, basically. So, yeah, I'm gonna be talking about something that bothers me a lot. I mentioned it in my latest video, but before I get into that, follow me on my social media on Instagram and Twitter at Commander Nikki, just like my channel name. So, yes. It's 20 fucking 20. Almost 21. Why do things like hair and hands and clothes and other objects still clip through? things that shouldn't happen and I know I'm being nitpicky but it just takes me out a lot like I can't take slow loading graphics or drops in frame rates even though those are just as bad I can't take all those buggy leggy things but there is something about photorealistic games when objects clip through things that shouldn't be clipping through them. It just takes me out. Especially with photorealism. Like, take some kind of artsy kind of approach like the Life is Strange graphics and I'll be like yeah, okay, that happens, those are not complicated graphics, hiccups can happen, but if you take AAA games like Assassin's Creed or Rockstar Games, Naughty Dog, uh, um, all that stuff, it gets complicated. And Look how far we've come. Look what's possible to do in terms of technical stuff and other mechanics. What people, game developers, started thinking about putting in their games to make the immersion better. What they thought of doing because it's possible to put into the game now with all those good processors and ray tracing and all that that tech jazz I have no clue about. Um, I'm just glad if my game looks great and I can play it and enjoy it and if my PlayStation doesn't sound like a jet engine taking off and raising the room temperature by two degrees. Like, I'm glad when that doesn't happen. Like, oof. <laughs> we came so far, like, compare the first Legend of Zelda to Breath of the Wild. Like, wow, that's, <laughs> that's amazing. The first Pokemon game to the Sword and Shield. It looks so good. Go on YouTube, look up uh, tiny details in video games and be amazed what things are possible. And like, just let me get into the things that are possible now and that game developers thought of putting into the games just to to get my point across a little better. We have Horse testicles that go closer to the horse's body and f further away, depending on the, uh, on the weather. We we have snow mechanics. May it be like that you can walk patterns into the snow, or that snow gathers on your character's clothes, or weather effects in general that vehicles move differently depending on what they have to deal with or the sound of 
the footsteps are different depending on what your character is walking on. Heck, sometimes even the whole character sounds different depending on what armor they're wearing. Is there a lot of metal? Yeah, it's gonna clinker, clanker, do metal sounds with every step. If it's a full leather armor, it's silent. Like, all of things. Face, facial animations. The, the, the steam of, of breathing in cold air, that has been animated. Water looking like water, liquids looking like liquids, maybe blood or piss or droplets on clothes that fall on the ground and, and, and make like this, this little water circles, ripples. <laughs> hair looking like hair and and moving when there's wind or when a character moves when the hair is longer accessoires moving with the character the whole clothing reacting to how the character moves how the environment affects the character enemies moving differently depending on where they have been hit. NPCs reacting to what your character looks like. May they be dirty, wearing special equipment or other stuff. Predatory animals acting like per predatory animals, not just on you, the player character, but other animals too. I saw in Red Dead Redemption, a, a, a predatory bird pick up a snake. I saw a bald eagle snap out a fish out of the water in Red Dead Redemption. And there are so, so, so many amazing tiny details in games that game developers bothered to put into to make the immersion better and they are, they are amazing and let's be real they are not even needed that much sure it's cool that they are there but in the end of the day it's just sad that some things still happen. Like I said, why do objects that shouldn't clip through other objects still do that? It, it makes me sad. I, I want to be honest because we got so far and yet there's like that one detail that, that makes me so sad and upset and angry that I'm making a whole video on it. And I just don't understand. Like, I know animating is hard as shit. I couldn't do it myself. I mean, I could learn it if I put the time and effort into it. And the money to get the right equipment like a better PC and a program that could handle that editing. But, yeah. Um, and it's... Not, not just Assassin's Creed Valhalla that has those problems, but that's where I noticed and that's where it took me out so much because I kind of expected more. And yeah, and like, shouldn't we like hold AAA studios up to that standard? As I said, I can excuse other studios having hiccups like that, but when it's a big one and the game has been delayed several times, have you heard about the dicks clipping through the pants in Cyberpunk 2077? That's dumb. Also that game was a mess. Look up what happened. I don't even want to talk about it because that's that. You can 
You can check out the latest um, Games and Grocery episode. Uh, Adam had an amazing rant on that topic. It, it was hilarious from start to finish and I can totally recommend checking that out. Um, yeah, so, like, it makes me sad. Uh, and I'm repeating myself, but those errors keep happening and I really don't understand how they can let that slip through. Like, no, and I, I'm i just gonna go from like just a gamer consumer perspective and say there's one easy fix. If your engines can't handle programming and calculating through the issue of having let's say a long braided hair clip through the fur on the shoulder of the armor maybe don't let your character have long braided hair or don't let your armor be so fluffy that it could clip through there. Um, just if you're not technically able to to fix the issues, then maybe adjust so you don't run into the issues. Of course, it's it's really really bad to have be limited to to what you can do that you have to adjust your character design but that's just one idea I'm having that would help the issue like adjust your character design don't let them have long hair if you can't handle animating it properly especially in photorealism like that's just sad like it's called photorealism for a reason if you do a Nazi approach, I don't care. That stuff can happen. Also, there are probably several stu smaller studios that really just can't help themselves and run into those issues. I'm not complaining about them. I'm complaining about the big guys who have the time, money and resources to fix issues like that. And yet they are still happening. And yeah, I don't want to sound like a boomer who complains about the milk price. But I paid 70 bucks for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I think. Or was it 60? I'm not sure anymore. Buying games day one by now is stupid anyways. And I, I see that now. I don't regret it on some games as much as on others, but buying games day one is dumb. Wait for a sale. <laughs> Seriously. And yeah, I, I don't care about bad animation, but sometimes it's, it's just horrible. And it takes me out of the game. And I don't want that because when I play video games, I want to forget the world for a while. I want to get immersed into the game world and stay there for a while. Focus on other things and when I see some animation hiccup, that's too hard on the line of reminding me that I'm playing a video game and I'm not actually in another world. It gets complicated. And yeah, so what do you think? Um, do you feel the same? Do you know like issue? Uh, do you have other issues that you want to complain about on the same level? Uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, what do you think how issues like that could be fixed? Do you agree with me? Like change the character design to avoid issues like that or 
should we overlook the the this specific issue of objects clipping through other objects um leave a like if you enjoyed this rant uh subscribe if you haven't already and yeah and Follow me on, so my, on my social media, on Instagram and Twitter, at Commander Nikki, just like my channel name. And until I figure out what I can upload next, watch my other stuff. Bye.